So last year when the Vortex 285 came out, it was all the rage. It was ready to go. All you had to do was hook up a receiver to the plug that was sticking out of the backside. And most people went with the Free Sky Tyrannus D4R2 uh, because most people fly Tyrannuses. Um, well, as we know with uh, this industry, that was so last year. Everybody now is running S-Bus. And what I have here is an X4R from Free Sky. And what I'm going to do is replace my D4R2, which is in my Vortex Pro, with this. So basically what we are going to do, I already got the quad open, is we are going to take the case off of all this. We are going to use this cable here that comes with the Vortex itself. We are going to remove this PPM cable back here in the back, which we do not need anymore. And we are going to plug in the S-Bus cable and we are going to go ahead and get everything all bound up and stuff with this. So let me uh, get this puppy all set up here and I'll be right back. All right, so before we get too far, what we have to do is hook everything up and bind it. Um, the S-Bus cable plugs in right there. This comes with your set. Uh, I've got the X4R right here. I've got the Tyrannus and D16 mode channel 1 through 16 and we're going to bind and I have already bound it and you can see that Telemetry recovered. we have a good signal. So that's where we're at right now. Now before you Telemetry seal off. everything up and get it put away we want to set the failsafe. So in order to do that, we're going to have to strap the goggles on and uh, go through the transmitter wizard, which when we go through the transmitter wizard, it should basically pull up and show us that we have, it, it detects an S bus. We'll go through the transmitter setup mode and then we'll be able to use our switches and everything on the Tyrannus to set up the actual um, fail safe. So we'll be right back. All right, now, since I'm changing mine, I basically had to hook up to immersion tools with the computer cable to reset everything so that way it would fire up the transmitter control again. So it detected the S bus and I gotta basically run through the whole thing. Telemetry lost and set everything up we all left opposite and hold neutral throttle the minimum throttle up neutral pitch stick back opposite direction turn to neutral left stick back and left neutral level the quad Right stick back and hold, neutral, and everything is all set up. And of course we're getting the tone. That's it everything is all set up um, so uh, next thing we got to do again we got to hook this thing up to clean flight so be right back all right had to reconfirm my switches again so basically we're arming right now um, now I want my failsafe basically to do absolutely nothing so I'm going to switch everything to off and I am just going to press the fail safe button and it's going to blink and that's it. So now I'm going to reset the quad, Telemetry lost. Telemetry recovered. turn everything on, 
I'm going to arm the quad, and I'm going to turn the power off to the radio, and the motor should stop. And they did. They do. Just like that. Just took a second. All right. So, fail safe is all taken care of. And so now we're ready to uh, put this thing back together. So, this is the simple part. All we're going to do is rip this thing apart, wrap it with some electrical tape, stick it in here, and there, and run the antennas right out of the back here. So, no sense in boring you with that. This video has been long enough, but that's basically how you put in S bus or switch from D4R2 to S bus. Um, Again, if you're buying one of these new, to get that most locked in feeling, get an S bus receiver. Don't go with the D4R2. That was last year's news. Who knows what we're going to be doing next year. So anyway, till next time, peace.